It's back in session for many borderland districts. After the spring break vacation, some schools saw an increase in the number of students returning to in-person learning. ABC 7's Iris Lopez spoke to ISD Superintendent Dr. Xavier De La Torre to see if any changes would be made to the district's safety guidelines as more students head back to learning on campus. But we are seeing the numbers uh, steadily increase in our elementary schools and we started uh, back in, in February and it wasn't uncommon to have uh, a teacher and two students. Today uh, what I saw uh, were you know, double digit numbers. Students were allowed to return to in-person learning on February 1st. One month later, the number for online learning still remains high, but more parents are feeling comfortable with allowing their child to return to campus for in-person learning. I think people are encouraged by the possibility of things returning uh, to as close as normal as we can expect, given what, what we've been through over the past year. Recently, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention updated their K-12 through school guidance to reflect the latest science on social distance among students. CDC now recommends that with universal masking, students should maintain a distance of at least three feet in classroom settings. For YSD District, that guideline has not yet been implemented. Well, we haven't had to do that. Uh, when the time comes, uh, uh, I will speak to the Board of Trustees. However, the district continues to practice regular safety guidelines throughout their campuses. We're still doing the surveys. We're still testing uh, students, faculty, and staff at every school. Test dividers are still in place. Masks are still required. And so we haven't retreated from all of the, the elements that we've been relying on for the past year. In the past two weeks, YASD has administered 3,500 vaccines to their employees. Dr. De La Torre believes that keeping these safety measures in place is the reason more and more parents are comfortable with letting their children return to in-person learning. Improves the public's confidence in our ability to keep their children safe. Iris Lopez, ABC7. Dr. De La Torre said that the district is hopeful for a return of face-to-face -face environment by August of 2021.